Blood-lusted Superman runs this gauntlet. Homelander, Omni-Man, Gladiator, Sentry, Blue Marvel. How far does he go? Let's do this. Let me be perfectly clear. I respect all of these characters here. They're all great characters, some of which are very underrated, deserve more shine than they actually get. With that being said, Superman, let alone a bloodlusted Superman, violates each and every single one of them. Superman is faster than all of them. He is stronger than all of them. He's more durable than all of them. He has better resistances than all of them. He's arguably a better fighter than the majority of them. And his feats grossly outweigh all of them. You can pull up the best feats that all these characters have. And Superman has better in spades. People love to talk about these characters getting their amps and their power-ups and their upgrades. But it doesn't matter. Because that's Kal-El. That's Superman. He is the amp. He is the upgrade. He is the power up. He has consistently been the top dog, the king of the ring, the tribal chief ever since day one. And it's fine. You don't have to like Superman. You can think he's overpowered. You can think he's overhyped. You could have a fascination and a fixation on your favorite character here. Maybe you're a Gladiator fan or a Blue Marvel fan or a Sentry fan and you think they're the bee's knees. And maybe they are. They're all great characters. But you're just not that great when you're up against the best. That man with that fine ass. Superman. So I'm curious to know, with all due respect, if you think one of these characters have a chance against not only just normal Superman, but a, a bloodlusted one, I need to hear your reasoning. It better be good. Comment, Stitch, Duet. I want to know.